The Quran, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans Quranite.com Part 6 God loves not the open mention of evil, save by one wronged, and God is hearing, knowing. If you reveal good, or keep it secret, or forgive evil, God is pardoning, powerful. Those who deny God and his messengers, and wish to make a distinction between God and his messengers, and say, we believe in some and deny some, and they wish to choose a way in between, these are those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue in truth. And for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, we have prepared a humiliating punishment. And those who believe in God and his messengers, and have not made a distinction between any of them, these will God give their rewards. And God is forgiving, merciful. The doctors of the law ask thee to bring down upon them a decree from the sky, and they asked a greater thing of Musa than that. They said, Show thou us God openly. And the thunderbolt seized them for their injustice. Then took they up the calf after that clear evidence had come to them. And we pardoned that, and we gave Musa a clear warrant, and we raised above them the mount for their agreement, and we said to them, Enter the gate in submission. And we said to them, Transgress not the Sabbath. And we took from them a stern agreement. Then, because of their violation of their agreement, and their denial of the proofs of God, and their killing of the prophets without cause, and their saying, Our hearts are covered, the truth is, God set a seal upon them for their denial, so they do not believe, save a few. And because of their denial, and their speaking against Maryam, a tremendous calumny, and their saying, We killed the anointed one, Isa, son of Maryam, the messenger of God, and they killed him not, nor put him to death upon a stake, but it seemed so to them, and those who dispute concerning it are in doubt thereof. No knowledge have they thereof, save the pursuit of conjecture. And they killed him not of a certainty. The truth is, God brought it before him, and God is mighty wise. And there is no doctor of the law, save will come to faith therein before his death. And on the day of resurrection, it will be a witness against them. So, because of injustice among those who hold to Judaism, we made unlawful to them good things which had been lawful to them. And because of their forsaking the path of God much, and their taking of usury when they had been forbidden it, and their consuming the wealth of men in vanity, and we have prepared for those among them who spurn guidance while claiming virtue a painful punishment. But those established in knowledge and the believers among them believe in what is sent down to thee and what was sent down before thee, as do the upholders of the duty and the givers of the purity and the believers in God and the last day. These will we give a tremendous reward. We instruct thee as we instructed Nuh and the prophets after him, and we instructed Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the grandsons, and Isa and Ayyub and Yunus and Harun and Suleiman, and we gave Dawood psalms, and messengers we have narrated to thee before, and messengers we have not narrated to thee. And God spoke to Musa by speech, messengers as bearers of glad tidings and warners, 
that men might have no argument against God after the messengers. And God is mighty wise. But God bears witness to what he sent down to thee. He sent it down with his knowledge, and the angels bear witness, and God is sufficient as witness. Those who are indifferent to warning and forsake the path of God, they have strayed far into error. Those who are indifferent to warning and do wrong, God has not forgiven them, nor will he guide them to a road, save the road to hell. They abiding eternally therein forever, and that is easy for God. O mankind, the messenger has brought you the truth from your Lord, so believe it is better for you. And if you deny, to God belongs what is in the heavens and the earth, and God is knowing wise. O doctors of the law, exceed not bounds in your doctrine, nor ascribe to God save the truth. The anointed one, Asa, son of Mariam, was but the messenger of God and his word, which he conveyed to Mariam, and a spirit from him. So believe in God and his messengers, and say not three, desist, it is best for you. God is but one God. Glory be unto him that he should have a son. To him belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth and God is sufficient as guardian. The Anointed One disdains not to be a servant to God, nor do the angels brought near. And whoso disdains his service and is proud, he will gather them to him all together. Then as for those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, he will give them their rewards in full and increase them out of his bounty. And as for those who disdain and are proud, he will punish them with a painful punishment. And they will not find for them besides God, ally or helper. O mankind, now has evidence come to you from your Lord, and we have sent down to you a clear light. Then as for those who believe in God and hold fast to him, he will make them enter into mercy and bounty from him, and he guides them to him by a straight path. They ask thee for a ruling, say thou, God gives you the ruling concerning those who die without issue. If a man perish without a child but have a sister, for her a half of what he left and he inherits from her if she have not a child. Then if there be two females, for them two-thirds of what he left, and if they be brethren, men and women, for the male is the like of the share of two females. And God makes plain to you, lest you go astray, and God knows all things. Chapter 5 in the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. O you who heed warning, fulfill contracts. Made lawful for you is four-footed cattle, save what is recited to you, hunting not being permitted when you are forbidden. God ordains what he wishes. O you who heed warning, violate not the tokens of God, nor the inviolable moon, nor the requirement, nor the chains of office, nor the visitors to the inviolable house seeking the favour and pleasure of their Lord. And when you are permitted, then you may hunt. And let not hatred of a people who diverted you from the inviolable place of worship move you to commit injustice, and assist one another to virtue and prudent fear, and assist not one another to falsehood and enmity, and be in prudent fear of God. God is severe in retribution. Forbidden to you is carrion, and blood, and the flesh of swine, 
and that dedicated to other than God, and the strangled, and the beaten, and the fallen, and the gored, and that eaten by the beast of prey, save what you slaughter, and that sacrificed upon an altar, and that you seek apportionment by divining arrows. That is wanton perfidy. This day have those who are indifferent to warning despaired of your doctrine. Fear them not, but fear me. This day have I perfected for you your doctrine, and completed my favour upon you, and approved for you submission as doctrine. Then whoso is compelled by hunger, without inclination to falsehood, God is forgiving, merciful. They ask thee what is made lawful for them, say thou, made lawful for you, are good things. And what you taught of animals of prey, as trainers teaching them of what God taught you, eat of what they catch for you, and remember the name of God over it. And be in prudent fear of God, God is swift in reckoning. This day are good things made lawful for you, and the food of those in possession of the law is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them, as are the chaste women among the believing women, and the chaste women among those in possession of the law before you, when you give them their dowries, being chaste and not fornicators, nor taking secret friends. And whoso denies faith, his work has been in vain, and he will be among the losers in the hereafter. O oh, you who heed warning, when you come to the duty, wash your faces and your hands to the elbows, and wipe your heads and your feet to the ankles, and if you are unclean, purify yourselves, and if you are ill or on a journey, or one of you comes from defecation, or you have lain with women, then find not water, resort to clean soil and anoint your faces and your hands with it. God wishes not to place any distress upon you, but he wishes to purify you and to complete his favour upon you, that you might be grateful. And remember the grace of God towards you, and his agreement which he agreed with you when you said, We hear and we obey, and be in prudent fear of God, God knows what is in the breasts. O oh, you who heed warning, be responsible towards God, witnesses to equity, and let not hatred of a people move you that you act not equitably. Do justice, that is nearer to prudent fear, and be in prudent fear of God. God is aware of what you do. And God has promised those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness that they have forgiveness and a tremendous reward. And those who are indifferent to warning and repudiate our proofs, they are the companions of hell. O oh, you who heed warning, remember the grace of God towards you when a people purposed to stretch out their hands against you, and he restrained their hands from you. And be in prudent fear of God, and in God then let the believers place their trust. And God took an agreement of the children of Israel, and we raised up among them twelve leaders. And God said, I am with you if you uphold the duty and give the purity and believe in my messengers and support them and lend to God a goodly loan. I will remove from you your evil and make you enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. Then whoso among you denies after that has strayed from the evenness of the way. And because of their violation of their agreement, we cursed them and made their hearts hard. They twist words from their places and forget a portion of what they were reminded therein. And thou wilt not cease to find treachery from them, save a few of them. 
but pardon thou them, and forbear thou. God loves the doers of good. And from those who say, We are Nazarenes, we took their agreement. Then they forgot a portion of what they were reminded therein, and we brought about among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection, and God will inform them of what they wrought. O oh, doctors of the law, our messenger has come to you, announcing to you much of what you hid of the law, and pardoning much. There has come to you light from God, and a clear decree. God guides thereby him who seeks his good pleasure in the ways of peace, and he brings them out of darkness into the light by his leave, and guides them to a straight path. They have denied who say, God is the Anointed One, Son of Mariam. Say thou, who has power over God, if he should wish to destroy the Anointed One, Son of Mariam, and his mother, and everyone on the earth altogether? And to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, he creates what he wills, and God is powerful over all things. And the rabbinic Jews and the Nazarenes say, We are the sons of God and his beloved. Say thou, Why then does he punish you for your transgressions? The truth is you are but mortals among those he created. He forgives whom he wills and punishes whom he wills and to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and what is between them, and to him is the journey's end. O oh, doctors of the law, our messenger has come to you, announcing to you within the span of the messengers, lest you say there came not to us any bearer of glad tidings or warner. Then has a bearer of glad tidings and warner come to you, and God is powerful over all things. And when Musa said to his people, O oh, my people, remember the grace of God towards you, when he made among you prophets, and made you kings, and gave you what he had not given to any among all mankind. O oh, my people, enter the holy land which God has ordained for you, and turn not back, for you will turn back as losers. They said, O Musa, therein is a people of giants, and we will not enter it until they go out therefrom, and if they go out therefrom, then will we enter. Said two men of those who feared, whom God had favoured, Enter upon them by the gate, for when you enter by it, then will you be victorious, and in God place your trust if you be believers. They said, O Musa, we will not enter it ever, so long as they remain therein. So go thou and thy lord, and fight. We will sit here, said he. My lord, I have no power save over myself and my brother, so make thou division between us and the wantonly perfidious people. He said, Then shall it be forbidden them. Forty years shall they wander in the earth, and grieve thou not for the wantonly perfidious people. And recite thou to them the report of the sons of Adam aright. When they offered an offering, it was accepted from the one, and not accepted from the other. He said, I will kill thee, said he, God but accepts from those of prudent fear. If thou stretch out against me thy hand to kill me, I will not stretch out my hand against thee to kill thee. I fear God, the Lord of all mankind. I wish thee to bear my falsehood and thy falsehood, and to become of the companions of the fire, and that is the reward of the wrongdoers. And his soul allowed him the killing of his brother, and he killed him, and became of the losers. Then God raised up a raven, scratching in the earth, to show him how to hide the shame of his brother. He said, Woe is me! Am I not able to be as this raven, and hide the shame of my brother? And he became of the remorseful. 
For that cause we decreed for the children of Israel that whoso takes a life other than for a life or corruption in the earth, it will be as if he killed mankind altogether. And whoso gives life, it will be as if he gave life to mankind altogether. And our messengers came to them with clear evidence. Then many of them after that are committers of excess in the earth. The reward but of those who war against God and his messenger and strive to spread corruption in the earth, that they be killed or they be put to death upon a stake or their hands and feet be cut off on alternate sides or they be banished from the land. That, ellipsis, is the cause for which we decreed thus for the children of Israel. To continue, they have degradation in this world and they have in the hereafter a tremendous punishment save those who repent before you have power over them and know that God is forgiving, merciful. O oh, you who heed warning, be in prudent fear of God and seek to him the means of approach and strive in his way that you might be successful. Those who are indifferent to warning, were they to have what is in the earth altogether, and the like thereof with it, to ransom them from the punishment on the day of resurrection, it would not be accepted from them, and they have a painful punishment. They will wish to come forth from the fire, but they will not come forth from it, and they have a lasting punishment. And the male thief and the female thief cut off their hand as a reward for what they have earned, as an exemplary punishment from God. And God is mighty, wise. Then whoso repents after his injustice and does right, God will relent towards him. God is forgiving, merciful. Knowest thou not that God, to him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth? He punishes whom he wills and forgives whom he wills, and God is powerful over all things. O messenger, let there not grieve thee those who compete in denial among those who say we believe with their mouths when their hearts have not believed and among those who hold to Judaism are eager listeners to lies, eager listeners to another people who have come not to thee, twisting words from their places, saying, If this be given you, receive it, but if it be not given you, beware. And whom God wishes to try, thou wilt not have power for him against God in anything. These are they whose hearts God has not desired to purify. They have in this world degradation, and they have in the hereafter a tremendous punishment. Eager listeners to lies, hearty consumers of illicit gain. And if they come to thee, judge thou between them, or turn thou away from them. If thou turn away from them, they will not harm thee at all. But if thou judge, judge thou between them with equity. God loves the equitable. And how come they to thee for judgment when they have the Torah? Wherein is the judgment of God? Then turn away after that. And these are not believers. We sent down the Torah wherein is guidance and light. The prophets who submitted judged thereby those who hold to Judaism, as did the men of God and the religious scholars, with what they were given charge of from the law of God, and were their two witnesses. Then fear not mankind, but fear me, and sell not my proofs for a cheap price. And whoso judges not by what God has sent down, these are those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And we ordained for them therein the life for the life, and the eye for the eye, and the nose for the nose, and the ear for the ear, and the tooth for the tooth, and for wounds just requital. But whoso forgives it by way of charity, it is an expiation for him. 
and whoso judges not by what God has sent down, these are the wrongdoers. And we sent Asa, son of Mariam, following hard upon them, confirming what was within his grasp of the Torah. And we gave him the gospel, wherein is guidance and light, both confirming what was within his grasp of the Torah and as guidance and exhortation to those of prudent fear. And let the people of the gospel judge by what God sent down therein. And whoso judges not by what God has sent down, these are the wantonly perfidious. And we sent down to thee the law aright, confirming what is within its scope of the law, and as a control over it. So judge thou between them by what God sent down, and follow thou not their vain desires, away from what has come to thee of the truth. For each among you we appointed an ordinance and a procedure, and had God willed he could have made you one community, but that he might try you in what he gave you, ellipsis, he gave you varying laws to continue. So vie in good deeds, unto God will you return altogether, and he will inform you of that wherein you differ, and that thou judge between them by what God has sent down, and follow thou not their vain desires, and beware thou of them, lest they seduce thee away from some of what God has sent down to thee. And if they turn away, know thou that God but intends to afflict them for some of their transgressions, and many among men are wantonly perfidious. Is it the judgment of ignorance they seek? And who is better than God in judgment for people who are certain? O you who heed warning, take not the rabbinic Jews and the Nazarenes as allies. They are allies of one another, and whoso takes them as allies among you, he is of them. God guides not the wrongdoing people. And thou seest those in whose hearts is disease competing among them, saying, We fear lest a reversal befall us. And it may be that God will bring victory or a command from his presence, and they will become of their secret thoughts remorseful. And those who heed warning say, are these they who swore by God their strongest oaths that they were with you? Their works are vain, and they are become losers. O you who heed warning, whoso among you renounces his doctrine, God will bring a people whom he loves and who love him, humble towards the believers, stern towards those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, striving for the cause of God and fearing not the reproach of a critic. That is the bounty of God he gives to whom he wills, and God encompasses, knows. Your ally is but God and his messenger, and those who heed warning, those who uphold the duty and give the purity and are lowly, and whoso takes God and his messenger, and those who heed warning as ally, a party of God, they are the victorious. O oh, you who heed warning, take not those who make mockery and fun of your doctrine among those in possession of the law before you, and the atheists as allies, and be in prudent fear of God if you be believers. And when you call to the duty, they make mockery and fun of it, because they are a people who do not reason. Say thou, O doctors of the law, do you resent us, save that we believe in God, and what was sent down to us, and what was sent down before, and that most of you are wantonly perfidious? Say thou, Shall I inform you of worse than that, as a recompense with God? He whom God cursed, and with whom he was wroth, and made of them apes and swine, when he served idols. These are worse in standing, and further astray from the evenness of the way. 
And when they come to you, they say, We believe. But they entered in denial, and they left in it. And God knows best what they concealed. And thou seest many of them compete in falsehood and enmity, and their consumption of illicit gain. Evil is what they did. O oh, that the rabbis and the religious scholars had but forbidden their speaking falsehood and their consumption of illicit gain. Evil is what they wrought. And the rabbinic Jews say, The hand of God is fettered. Fettered are their hands, and cursed are they for what they say. The truth is, his hands are spread wide. He spends how he wills and there increases many of them in inordinacy and denial what was sent down to thee from thy Lord. And we have cast among them enmity and hatred until the day of resurrection. Whenever they lit the fire of war, God extinguished it, and they strive in the land for corruption, and God loves not the workers of corruption. And had the doctors of the law believed and been in prudent fear, we would have removed their evil from them and made them enter the gardens of bliss. And had they upheld the Torah and the gospel and what was sent down to them from their Lord, they would have eaten from above them and from under their feet. Among them is a prudent community, but many of them evil is what they do. O messenger, convey thou what was sent down to thee from thy Lord, and if thou do it not, then thou wilt not have conveyed his message, and God will protect thee from men. God guides not the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Say thou, O doctors of the law, you have nothing to stand upon until you uphold the Torah and the Gospel and what was sent down to you from your Lord, and there increases many of them in inordinacy and denial what was sent down to thee from thy Lord. So grieve thou not for the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Those who heed warning, and those who hold to Judaism, and the Sabaeans, and the Nazarenes, whoso believes in God, and the last day, and works righteousness, they need not fear, nor will they regret. We took an agreement of the children of Israel, and sent to them messengers. Whenever a messenger came to them with what their souls desired not, some they rejected, and some they killed, and considered that it was not a means of denial, but they were blind and deaf, then turned God towards them. Then were many among them blind and deaf, and God sees what they do. They have denied, who say, God is the Anointed One, Son of Mariam. And the Anointed One said, O children of Israel, serve God, my Lord and your Lord. Whoso ascribes a partnership to God, to him has God forbidden the garden, and his habitation is the fire, and for the wrongdoers there are no helpers. They have denied, who say, God is the third of three, and there is no God save one God. And if they desist not from so saying, a painful punishment will touch those among them who are indifferent to a warning. Will they then not turn to God and seek forgiveness of him? And God is forgiving, merciful. The Anointed One, son of Mariam, was only a messenger. Messengers had come and gone before him, and his mother was a woman of truth. They both ate food. See thou how we make plain the proofs to them. Then see thou how they are deluded. Say thou, serve you besides God what has power over you for neither harm nor benefit. And God, he is the hearing, the knowing. Say thou, O doctors of the law, 
follow not in your doctrine other than the truth, and follow not the vain desires of a people who strayed before and led many astray, and strayed from the evenness of the way. Those of the children of Israel who were indifferent to warning were cursed by the tongue of Dawood and of Asa, son of Maryam, because they opposed and exceeded all bounds. They forbade not one another what is perverse, but they did it. Evil was what they did. Thou seest many of them taking allies of those who are indifferent to warning. Evil is what their souls have sent before them, that God is wroth with them, and in the punishment do they abide eternally. And had they believed in God and the prophet, and what was sent down to him, they would not have taken them as allies. But many among them are wantonly perfidious. <laughs>